All of these games are 3D printed. Can you believe that? You probably can considering you're watching a 3D printing channel, but it's true. Every single game you're seeing is fully 3D printed. Except for the balloons and tacks, because that's just ridiculous, but everything else, fully 3D printed. You can even 3D print these rubber bands if you want to. Today, we're gonna be checking out six of the coolest and most popular 3D printed games that I could find. This is a part two, so go check out the first video and then come back here. Up first, we have the rubber band game. You've definitely seen this one before, right? I'm just kidding, of course you have. This is a strategy multiplayer game that can have pretty much as many players as you want. The game board is this hexagon looking shape with all these pegs sticking through, and each player gets one tray filled with the markers and color of their choosing. To play the game, you get a bunch of rubber bands and all on every person's turn, you take a rubber band and you can stretch it across four pegs. Once a triangle is fully sectioned off, the person who sectioned it off can claim that triangle as their own by marking it with one of their pegs. And that's it, that's the basis of the entire game. You just keep going in a circle, player to player, closing off these triangles, making as many triangles as you can, and seeing who has the most pegs at the end when either every triangle is filled up or you run out of rubber bands. This may seem really simple at first, but there is a ton of strategy involved. That's because there's moves like this where you can claim multiple triangles in one go. And that's where the strategy is. It's just that simple. This is a fun strategy game that you can play with as many players as you want. It requires no assembly. Take it off the build plate and you're good to go. And the games are quick. It's not like we're playing Monopoly or anything. Up next, we have Rush Hour. This is a single player player logic puzzle game. The rules are very simple. Get the red car out of the exit. That's it. Oh, and also cars can only move forward and backward and can't jump over pegs, but I figured that was self-explanatory. Here are some of our standard cars. These cars only take up two spaces. Next, we have our semi-trucks, and these take up three spaces. Finally, we have our main car, the car that we are focused on getting out of this puzzle, and that's printed out in red so it stands out. As far as assembly goes, it's pretty simple. Just push the asphalt into the main bottom piece, and that's it. You can also print out a lid if you would like, and the lid has QR codes that you can scan that gives you the puzzle. It's randomized too, so every time you scan it, it's going to give you a different puzzle. It's actually really cool. So we're just going to copy this to our game board and get going. This is a lot harder than it looks, which makes it a ton of fun. It's a true brain teaser. But finally, after wasting about 20 minutes on my SD card and a whole lot of brain cells, we were able to get the red car finally through that exit. And that was just one round. Ideally, you should be solving these in less than 60 moves if you really want a challenge. But of course, I'm not smart enough for that. I just wanted to get the red car out in general. That was a win for me. There's also the option to add magnets to everything. It'll take you 72 magnets if you want to add them to the entire board and each piece. I didn't find it necessary to play the game, however it would be a nice additional bonus to have everything lock in place. Hey, you should subscribe, we're trying to hit 60k. This is the Balloon Duel game. It's by far one of the most dangerous 3D prints I've ever printed. Have you ever wanted to try jousting? or maybe get into an actual sword fight, but you're just a little bit too scared you're gonna get actually hurt, then this is the print for you. This is a two player game where each player takes control of one of the characters. Each character has a shield on one hand and attack on the other hand. The creator recommends using a toothpick, but I just wanted to raise the stakes a little bit with attack. Each character has a balloon head and you can probably see where this is going. This is such a simple idea that will keep you entertained for hours, as long as you have the balloons to do it. The assembly for this print is almost as fun as actually playing the game in my opinion, because it uses TPU filament to hold everything together. I just think that's a really cool idea. For the assembly, we're going to take our TPU filament, tie a little bit of a knot in it, and send the other end through the base of our print. Next, we're going to slide on two of our leg pieces, and then slide that filament through the main body of our character, followed by another two leg pieces, and then back through the base of the print again. Next, we're going to cut the excess filament and tie a knot in the bottom of it so that it can't come undone. And that's it. You've created the skeleton for your legs and your torso. Now, all you have to do is create the skeleton for the upper body. Go grab somebody you've always wanted to jack house with, have them grab the reins and go at it. That's it. See whose balloon can stay on their head the longest. Or in my case, come to a really slow, agonizing air release instead of a pop. I don't know which is better. This is Tetris. Tetr underscore S. Tetch is. I don't know. I'm going to call it Tetris to be honest with you. This is a balanced strategy game that can be played with as many people as you want. All you have to do is roll the die, see what piece you're required to add to the game board, and add that piece to the game board without knocking everything over. Again, another very simple idea. Of course, there are tons and tons of strategy involved in this. The only assembly that's required is a little bit of gluing in the actual die itself and the front of the game board to add that colorful logo to it. Besides that, that's it. You'll notice that the game board has a bunch of ridges on the bottom of it that just so happen to be the exact opposite of the ridges on the stand for the game board. That's totally not coincidental. 
accidental. That way the teetering and the rocking back and forth is actually predictable and it's not just going to slide to one way or another. Let me show you a little bit of gameplay from this thing. Obviously the first couple of rounds are very simple. You roll that die, place whatever piece you got onto the game board, and you can see we're moving around a little bit but there's really no concern of toppling. We've got a lot of pieces stacked up and it's very crucial that we roll an easy piece because if we get the wrong piece on that die there's a good chance this thing is going to topple. Now when we're near the end game any wrong move could topple this thing or any wrong piece if you roll an unlucky piece that's just it there's honestly nothing that you can do if you get an unlucky piece at this stage of the game this thing is coming down all right quick question for you let's say for whatever reason you're watching a 3d printing channel and you don't have a 3d printer but you want to print out some of these prints what should you do we well, should head on over to pcbway.com obviously pcbway is the sponsor of today's video and they also do everything from cnc machining to 3d printing to injection molding to actual pcb making because that's literally in their name. They make it super easy to simply upload your STL files to their website, choose your filament types, everything from ABS to ASA to nylons, which are really hard to print with, choose your colors, choose your surface finish if you want them sanded, if you want them finished, if you want them spray painted. Of course, you gotta choose the quantity, how many of these things do you want? And then add that to your cart, place your order, and bam, that's it. PCBOA is going to make these objects for you in no time at all and get them shipped straight to your door. Like I said earlier, they are also known for PCBs. It's quite literally in their name, so if you need a PCB or an electrical component, they are also your people for that. Thanks to PCBWay for sponsoring this video and check them out in the description. The next game we're going to take a look at today is called Wavelength. It's a guessing game that you can play with one other person to really see if you're on the same page about things or not. To play the game, you first set up two sides. For example, you can do one side as good places to laugh, and the other side as bad places to laugh. Then one player will spin the top white dial a random amount, then that player will move the green dial and see where most of the points are laying at. You can see on this one most of the points are leaning towards the bad places to laugh side, and then that player will close the green cover and give the other person a hint. For example, the worst possible place to laugh would be a funeral or something, and the very best place to laugh would be a comedy club. Considering most of our points are leaning towards the bad places to laugh, you could say something like a crowded bathroom or maybe when you're in trouble in school. Those are definitely bad places to laugh, but they're not the worst places to laugh. Then the other person is going to take that red dial and move it to where they think your hint lies on the playing field. Once they secure their guess, they're going to move back that green cover and reveal if you guys are on the same wavelength and you scored points or not. But that's the game. You can set up whatever categories you want. In fact, you can find a whole list of them online if you can't come up with any yourself. I probably did a terrible job explaining that game, but it's a lot of fun, so just go print it out and figure it out for yourself, okay? The final game print we're going to take a look at are these 3D printed darts. We have the darts themselves, which take some time to print because they're actually weighted with filament. How smart. Then we have the target, which you can see is like a grid mesh kind of pattern. Then we have the stand for the target holder. So we're just going to slide our target into the stand and we're ready to start throwing at this thing once we get tips in the darts, of course. But what are we going to use as tips for the darts? Something you already have lying around, some filament. We're going to slide the end of our filament into the darts and then we're going to cut the filament at a pretty extreme angle because you want these things to be kind of sharp. And then that's it. Start throwing these things at the target and you're good to go. It can be kind of tricky to get these darts to stick in the board so there's actually some challenge and some strategy to it. Obviously you can print out as many darts as you want and play with as many people as you want but this dartboard is going to get pretty crowded considering it's kind of small. That's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed these prints. I hope you got some new things to print out. I know a lot of these prints are some long prints, a lot of hours going on your printer, a lot of filament use but look at what you're getting out of it. You're going to get hours and hours of entertainment out of these games plus a lot of smiles and laughs from everybody that you play with and I think that's worth the investment right there. Either way if you're into practical prints i got videos about practical prints if you're into art prints i got videos about art prints if you're into car prints i got videos about car print if you're into 3d printing anything at all i'm willing to bet i have a video about it so you should go check them out and then you should subscribe if you want to see more i mean that is the only way that this works right you subscribe i make more videos you watch the new video it's a simple concept really but for real i just hope you had a good time watching this video even if it was purely for entertainment value and you're actually not going to print any of these out i also appreciate our channel members everyone say hi these are some really cool people right here. If you want to join these awesome people, you can click that join button, see some past live streams, get some community only posts, some stuff like that, but you don't have to do any of that. All I hope you do is have a great rest of your day, subscribe, and promise me that I will see you later in a future video.